I'm Chris Loss and my business is Wild Violet Pottery and it's just about 15 minutes uh, east of here in south of New Hamburg. Denise Jong, I uh, work for and own Soiled Reputation with my partner Tina Vandenhoevel in uh, the heart of Canada's agricultural county, Perth County. We have incredible soil here in Perth County. We're very fortunate to have that kind of soil and climate. It's great for growing food. And um, we have 80 acres. We're certified organic. We grow about 50 different crops on our farm. And so I'm Laura, and I'm from Monforte Dairy, and I'm one of the cheesemakers at the dairy. My name is Brendan Linus. Um, I'm from Stratford, Ontario, um, and I am the owner of Caveman Crops. Hi, I'm Alan Watts from Anything Grows. Uh, Anything Grows is a store for gardeners and has more recently become involved with the slow food market because of what we believe to be the principles of the slow food market in terms of uh, better living. Uh, Uh, my name is Lori Nechtel, I'm co-chair of uh, Slow Food Perth County. And I'm Steve Stacey and I'm the other co-chair of Slow Food Perth County. And I'm also the coordinator of the Sunday Market right now. Uh, the Sunday Market started just over a year ago, uh, June 2010. Uh, this year, as of June, we kicked the market off here in uh, Market Square. The market is all about good, clean fare. We've gotten involved by growing some of our own uh, heirloom and uh, unique varieties of seeds in our garden that we bring to market. For example, the uh, dinosaur kale we have today and our own uh, garlic. So we're at the dairy, we're all about supporting our farmers and supporting the people around us. And so I think it's really great to have a lot of farmers from the area to be able to just come, come together for, who are producing really quality food and sustainable food. Uh, my husband's a member, for one thing, and also I joined um, because I really like the idea of selling my pottery locally. Um, I like the personal contact with the people that I sell to. Um, I joined this, the slow food market in, primarily because it allows me, as a very small producer, um, to have access to an, a, like a place where I can sell my food and I don't have to be a, like a large, large farm operation. I only have an acre and a half. I do everything by hand. This really is what a city hall is supposed to be about. It's a meeting place for people and uh, food's always such a great celebratory vehicle and uh, we get people from all walks of life coming here on a Sunday and um, celebrating the good things in life. Now it's really picking up because a lot of the farmers are being able to produce more cheeses and we have a lot of our aged cheeses coming out that we are working on over the winter. So just a, a good variety of everything. Well our, our farm right now is just kicking into high gear. All the stuff that we planted in the beginning of the year is uh, coming to fruition. We've got uh, heirloom tomatoes for the first time uh, this year. We've got beautiful big eggplants and in the next couple of weeks we'll be rolling out our beets and colored carrots, uh, more and more tomatoes, and edamame. Um, and then into the cooler months, we'll have uh, Romanesco cauliflower, cabbages, and uh, Brussels sprouts, all those things that uh, hearty, nourishing foods into the fall. Over the next month or so, uh, here at the market, um, I'm going to have all kinds of different things, uh, like potatoes, beets, um, garlic, uh, all kinds of herbs, uh, greenery, squash, pumpkins, um, a full table of different uh, array of colors and varieties. Actually, in the next few weeks, I'm going to be um, bringing some crocs um, because people will start preserving their their uh, products that they buy from the other vendors in the slow food market is some crocs and maybe some uh, garlic holders, garlic jar, cover jar holders, that type of thing. All of the information about slow food for the county, all of our events, um, blog posts, and lots of information about the market can be found at slowfoodperthcounty.ca. It runs from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. every Sunday until the last weekend in uh, October. Then we're going to go probably back to our uh, winter home and uh, look on the website for where that's going to be this year. Show.